so glad you could join us today for worship on this fourth Sunday of Advent. I knew joy. But when I heard the laugh of my child, suddenly joy was overflowing. I knew love. But when you held my hand, suddenly love was overflowing. I knew God. But when you showed me grace, when you forgave me, when you loved me, when you raised me, suddenly God was overflowing. So let us worship the holy God together. God is here and we are never alone. This is community. This is the body of Christ. Welcome home. I dream of music that makes my heart swell. I dream of trees that take my breath away. I dream of sunrises that wrap me in light. I dream of family dinners that feel like home. I dream of church services that give me hope. I dream of love as the default. So today we draw near to Christmas Day. We light the candle of love. May this light burn bright as a reminder that God is here and God is love. We are not alone. Thanks be to God for love like that. Amen. My soul sings out loud to the Lord. My heart exclaimed the work of God, my deliverer. For God has seen the status of God's lowly servant. And rightly from this time forward, all the generations will see that I was blessed. For the Great One has done magnificent things through me. And I call upon the mystery of God's name. God's mercy is for those who honor God from generation to generation. God has shown the hand of justice by scattering the proud, humbling their haughty thoughts. God has brought down the powerful from their high places and lifted up all the lowly. God has filled the hungry with God's plenty and sent away the wealthy with empty hands. God has helped God's servant Israel to remember God's rich mercy in accordance to the covenant made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his children forever.
rights activist Ruby Sales writes, what's up with Mary? What does she, a poor adolescent unwed mother, whom the Roman Empire and her community pressed down to the lowest rungs of the social ladder, have to sing about? Why would she thank God and celebrate the coming of a new child in a colonized world where the Roman Empire, the most brutal and egregious of empires, will close doors in an attempt to reduce her child's life to the barest bones of possibility and options? We expect Mary to sing a blues song with all this happening. But Mary doesn't sing a blues song. Mary sings a freedom song. Mary sings a protest song. Mary sings a song that calls for a world to be different. We don't often think about Christmas in those terms and think about Christmas carols in those terms. But that's why I wanted us to sing O Holy Night. So we sang the first verse, and we'll sing the third verse after. In the first verse, we get these soaring wonderful notes, this majesty and beauty, this hope, this image of a beautiful, wondrous, holy night that causes us to fall to our knees in prayer. But I want you to hear the words for the third verse. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we. Let all within us praise his holy name. Christ is the Lord, O oh, praise his name forever. His power and glory evermore proclaim. So in your head, right, you hear, O oh, night, O oh, night divine, night when Christ was born. You don't have stuck in your head, I don't know, his power and glory evermore proclaim. You don't have stuck in your head this verse that teaches us about who Jesus is, right? Jesus called us to love one another. He called us to a law of love and a gospel of peace. He called us to a world that breaks the chains of slavery. He calls us to a world where oppression will cease. It may be why we often leave that verse out when we sing. But that verse fits in with Mary's song, right? Mary's song, a Christmas song, a Christmas carol. And yet if I was to ask you to sing the Magnificat to me, what song would you sing? There are three versions in our hymnal that you could choose from, but we don't normally sing them because they're new, they're different. They aren't that song that stirs our soul and makes us have those warm, fuzzy feelings about Christmas. They're new and different and don't quite set in that place in our heart where we want the song to be. And yet Mary's song is a song that challenges us to a new freedom, a new hope. I mean, she begins by talking about joy, a joy that she has because God looked at her and chose her. That God, the holy, came to her and had a plan and a purpose for her. And then she sings about God. She sings about God and says that God is a God of mercy from generation to generation. That God is a God, like in the hymn, O Holy Night that reaches down and scatters the proud, that brings the powerful down, that sets the rich away empty, but lifts up the whole lowly, that fills up the hungry and the poor. God is a God 
who shows mercy for generations and generations forevermore. And maybe we don't sing Mary's song because it challenges our understanding of Christmas. It challenges us to see the world differently. And maybe we don't want songs of protest at Christmas. And yet I'll be honest with you, this year, there have been certain songs that have helped to get me through everything that has happened. That has helped me to live through the mess that is our country right now. And one of those songs is called This Joy. It was written by Shirley Caesar in the 70s, but it is sung by the Resistance Revival Chorus, and it's amazing. This joy I have. The world didn't give it to me. This joy I have. The world didn't give it to me. This joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. And I've been listening to their album and their songs a lot this year because they bring me a sense that there is something we can do about everything that we are seeing going on right now. There is something that we can do to transform the fires that destroyed the West Coast. There is something that we can do that can help us save the environment so those fires don't happen. That there is something we can do to transform our culture's relationship between whiteness and blackness that can transform how we see each other and experience each other and love each other. There is something we can do. This love that I have the world didn't give it to me. This love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. This love. This love that we have can transform the world that we have been given. It can help us. Because it teaches us to do what is right and good, to show mercy to one another. Because I keep hoping that things will get better, that life will get better. But we seem to be trapped into this world where people are fighting about saying Merry Christmas instead of fighting about wearing their masks so that they can protect and show mercy to their neighbors. That we're fighting each other about who belongs and who fits and who is a real American instead of working to make sure that every American is fed that every American has a job, that every American has a place to sleep at night that is warm and safe and secure. Instead, we're fighting with each other. We're choosing camps and living in them, and we aren't bridging those gaps. And see how passionate it makes me? That's why I need the song. I need to hear this peace that I have. The world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away so that I can remind myself that there is something I can do, that God is a God who taught us love, to love one another, that God is a God of peace, that God has called me to share that peace with you, to share with you that this Christmas, this Christmas, we are called to joy and love. We are called to dream dreams of a world where the lowly, the poor are lifted up, where their embrace and love, where chains are broken and peace reigns. We're to dream dreams of a better, purer 
world. A world where everyone can get along. A world where we learn from the mistakes and the history of our past. We show ourselves mercy for what has been done, but then we move forward into a brighter world where we accept the pain and sorrow. We accept the things that we have done that were wrong. And we learn to transform the world. Mary calls us to that sense of joy, that joy in knowing that God is there to help us on that journey of love, that God is there to help us to transform this world, to reflect the dream of Mary, a dream where the lowly and the poor are lifted up and filled Truly, he taught us to love one another. May you love one another this week. May you sing a freedom song, a song of passion and hope that inspires you, that helps you to get through this day. Amen. I invite you to join me with prayer. I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in deeply and to release your breath. I invite you to just rest in the love and peace of God for a moment. Dreaming God, we dream today the dream of Mary. Mary sang out with joy of all that you have done for her and her people. She sings of being blessed even if she had little. She sings of your presence with her. Dreaming God, Mary sang of your mercy being with the people always. Merciful one, show mercy on us. Dreaming God, Mary dreamed of a world where the proud, the powerful, the rich are changed. She asked them to be brought low, to be sent away, to be scattered. We dream for our rich to hear your word. Dreaming God, Mary dreamed of a world where the lowly are lifted and the hungry are filled with good things. Holy Lord, we lift up to you those now who are feeling rather empty. 
who are wondering where their next meal come from, are wondering if they'll ever find another job, are wondering if their home will be taken from them. Holy One, we lift up their dreams, their fears, their hopes. May you be with the poor and the lowly. Dreaming God, we know that to dream is to hope, and to hope is to imagine, and to imagine is to wonder, and to wonder is to believe, and to believe is to live and breathe for your promised day. So give us the strength to listen as we dream, O oh God. For deep down we know your words are the very thing we need. Dreaming God, we stop here in this moment. And we raise up to you those who are in our hearts. There are so many sick right now. So many who are in need of healing love. God, there are so many grieving right now. There are so many who need your comfort. God, we raise to you our families and friends that are on our hearts and in our worries. Dreaming God, surround them with your love. As we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And if nobody told you today that I love you, remember that God loves you and always will. Remember that Jesus loves you and always will. Remember that I love you and always will. May you sing God's dream of love. May you love extravagantly. Amen. Thank you for joining us for worship today. If you'd like to support our ministry, please visit our website, stpaulshinkley.org. Or you can send us a donation to St. Paul's Hinkley, P.O. Box 1271, Hinkley, Illinois, 60520. We thank you for your support. We appreciate all the love and mercy that you have shown to us.